Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in an awesome bit of news, Ryujinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator, has seen a work in progress experimental build released that actually has fully rendered game audio. The audio that you can currently hear from Cave Story, while it is slightly bugged and a different pitch than it's meant to be, it should be fairly easily fixed through some game settings. Deskaya 5 has also seen this audio implementation, however, due to the fact that this game, while it is rendered a lot better than when I previously covered it, still runs at a very low frame rate. It is due to this low frame rate that we have this torn and stretched audio. Once we get some additional performance optimizations to Ryujinx, this game should be up and running and in a very playable state in absolutely no time at all. Sega! Tetris! As you can also hear, Puyo Puyo Tetris has also seen audio implemented in its game systems. When we progress through to the in-game menus, you can also see that we have fully functional game audio and fully functional tile audio. Swapping over into some gameplay, you can also see that all of the in-game audio and effects are now fully implemented. We do however need to be aware that these work in progress audio changes are not yet going to be implemented into the master builds of Ryujinx until they are perfected. For example, in this latest work in progress audio version of Ryujinx, while audio has indeed been enabled in Stardew Valley and rendering has indeed been improved, the game now suffers from random crashes due to this audio implementation. It is for this reason that these audio changes are not being pushed to master and need further testing. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus has also seen audio added to its game on this emulator. Due to the fact that the Binding of Isaac in some circumstances requires audio cues in order to have correct gameplay, I would say that with this audio implementation and the fact that we can run the game at around 30 or 35 FPS, I would definitely consider that this game is now fully playable on Ryujinx the Nintendo Switch emulator. The good news does not stop there though, Super Mario Odyssey has also seen its audio implemented. Not only do the audio cues for all of our button presses work, but we can now also progress to a stage where we can hear the audio for the intro of the game. Unfortunately, there is currently no video playback, and when we actually get to a point where we can hear Bowser, the game more often than not will just crash. So that's about it for this short little update video on the development of Ryujinx, this Nintendo Switch emulator. Let me know down in the comments if there are any games you would like to see tested on this emulator. Also, if you could let me know if you like these kind of update videos and whether you would like to see more or less of them on the channel. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.